Hello, I am Jasmine. We got your profile for senior developer position. Yeah, hi Jasmine. So, thank you. Yeah, tell me Jasmine. Is it right time to take technical interview? Uh, yeah, now, yeah, it is fine. Yeah. Uh, you can, yeah, you can take technical interview now. Is it right time to take technical interview? Yeah, yeah, you can take, you can take now, no problem. Okay, so it's the right time you can take now. Tell me about Qs and iPath. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Tell me about Qs and iPath. Qs, okay. Uh, the Qs in UA path is like a, uh, basically it is used to uh, store the uh, the uh, the transaction items so we can add the uh, uh, number of uh, suppose for example if you have a an excel having the lot of data a lot of records so to handle each and every record uh, for one robot it is a it will take a lot of time and also we have to uh, so the update the status like a what is a new what is a in progress what is a, whether it is a success or failed right it is a very difficult but the, in the ui path there is a queue concept is there so we can store the values the each and every transaction whether it is a transaction might be a, a, a excel record or <coughs> or the uh, or, or, or suppose, suppose for example in some cases it is a, like a email also email also transaction okay or uh, a single file is a transaction okay so it's like a first in first out in orchestrator we will create a queue and once we add the data into the uh, add the transaction item to the queue by using the add queue item the status should be a, it automatically converts into the new status so to retrieve the items from the queue so we are using the get transaction item is a one another activity to retrieve the uh, items from the queue so that is about the queues so suppose for example normally we are using the uh, dispatcher and the performer concept right uh, uh, dispatcher will dispatch the items from the queue uh, to the to the queue the duty of the dispatcher is only dispatching the items to the queue the performer will take the new items from the queue and do the performing is it okay uh, Jasmine? what is add queue item and add transaction item okay add queue item is used to add the queue item uh, that mean add queue item is used to adding the transaction item to the queue that the, the the transaction item automatically it will convert into the a new status the output is the odd cat add queue item is uh, nothing so the add transaction item is used to adding the emergency transaction items like suppose for example high priority transaction items to the queue the queue item status automatically it will convert into the in progress and the output of the add transaction item activity is a, a queue item uh, that's it uh, yes me uh, hello hello just me what is the difference between throw and rethrow and exception handling okay so the difference between the throw and rethrow in the exception handling is like a so we can use a throw activity uh, to to throw the business exceptions. Suppose, for example, so uh, uh, the business has uh, some rules. So the the uh, salary should be, be below this one, or department should not be empty. So this kind of thing. Suppose, for example, email email contains a, a uh, should be a two attachments. If the, there is no two attachments, we have to throw the exception business exception. So to to send the business role exceptions on demand, we are throwing the exceptions by using the throw activity. So that is a that is a like a so for the business exception and the rethrow is used to uh, suppose for example we are using the rethrow activity into the catch box suppose it just imagine you have a child catch and the parent catch in the child catch so if that child catch contains uh, catch block in the catch block so if you don't want to handle the that particular exception in here in the child block you have to you have to throw that one into the parent block 
so in that case you can just simply use the read through activity into the catch block so what it will do it won't suppress the exception it will read through to the parent block that mean, that mean the cursor will go to the uh, the parent catch block so the parent block whatever it is there after the child block it won't execute directly it will go to the parent catch block so if we don't have the parent catch block or parent try block so then it will just uh, faulted that uh, error so that is a uh, uh, difference between the throw and rethrow activities uh, into the into the exception handling jasmine where we use exception handling in re framework in ipath uh, sorry uh, come again uh, what is your question where we use exception handling in re framework in ipath okay so where we are using the exception handling in the re framework okay in UA path. So let us uh, see. So uh, uh, RE framework is a, a template. It is a template which is uh, uh, recommended by the UA path itself, the UA path complete itself. Uh, actually, this RE framework template basically uh, the thing is uh, 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 it has a it already handled the, all the exceptions in the all the states. In the RE framework, we have a states like a init state and a get transaction state and the final state and and the uh, process state okay so in the init state they already handle the exceptions they have a configured the try and catch blocks in the init state so if any exception occurred in the try block into the init state it will go to the catch block and the catch blocks what we done so in, in that it is a, like a system error is a variable the exception variable they are assigning the system variable equal to exception object okay so then if the exception occurred in the try block uh, in, in the init state then it will go to the uh, final block, finally block. Okay. In the finally block also, again they handle the exception by using the try and catch so while they are closing. While they are closing the close all applications, so if they, if they if any exception occurred while they are closing the applications, the ca uh, then it will go to the catch block. In the catch block, they are handle the kill process. So if uh, everything is work fine in the in it state, then it will go to the get transaction state. In the get transaction state. So there is a should stop activity is a, uh, it is looking for the any person a uh, trigger the stop button from the orchestrator then it will just um, simply uh, uh, simply just uh, assign that uh, boolean value uh, it is a true or false if, if it is not uh, uh, triggered by the any any stop button is not triggered from the orchestrator then it will go to the false block in the false block it is there is a way of calling as a get transaction data uh, workflow so this get transaction workflow so is there inside the try and catch so why we are using this try and catch again so while the uh, and the process is uh, trying to get the new transaction item from the orchestrator so some sometimes the uh, network issues or connection issues will come in that time this this will throw the exception so once it is a throw the exception in the get transaction data state it will go to the a catch block in the catch block by just assigning the transaction item equal to nothing okay so that it will go to the end process and the pro in the process state that is the final the, the third state, process state also having the they already handle the exception handling that is a using the try and catch so it has a two catch blocks one is a, a system exception another one is a business exception in the process whether it is a whether it is a business exception or a system exception is occurred in the process state process dot xaml so then it will go to the corresponding catch block so whether it is a business exception it will go to the business business catch block business rule exception catch block if it is a system exception it will go to the uh, system exception catch box so that is a, a basically a, a try and catch uh, handle handle in the this one okay so in the re framework okay that is about this uh, jasmine okay how to read pdf text in the ipath how to read pdf text uh, in how how can we read the pdfs okay so you ha we have a uipath.pdf data activities so we have to install that pdf data activities then we can just simply install that uh, pdf activities so you have a read pdf text activity read pdf text with ocr activity some pdfs we have a uh, pdf text uh, which ha which is having the uh, uh, text which is there inside the image inside the PDF. So for that, uh, we are using the uh, read PDF with OCR. We can use the OCR engines. Okay. Uh, and uh, 
the read pdf text will just read the text normal text not in the images okay read pdf text with the ocr will read the and um, both the things read pdf text with the ocr or read pdf text these both the things having the uh, range activity okay so that's it uh, just for me thanks a lot we will get back to you oh thank you very much thanks a lot uh, uh, it's nice nice talking to you yes me so thank you very much bye bye